it gonna be the hose or the cylinder that's bad Ooh. i guess we can pull that all the way out i also own a farm here we go You are now watching the 2024 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. So it rained yesterday, and then about two o'clock this morning, it rained again. And we ended up the last 24 hours, what is that? Almost an inch and a half of rain. So less than ideal. Um, that's gonna hold us up from getting back in the fields for a couple of days, but give us time to get everything 100% so that when we can get back in the fields we are we're good to go like we are gonna run have everything perfect ready to rock and roll so alrighty gonna move the 7520 out i did notice that we are missing two of the bolts on the scrapers that we put on because we we did not put lock washers or anything um and i was hoping they'd stay tight enough but this is pretty abusive environment for um these so we'll get that tightened up um get this out of the way get the, the 4640 back on the planner and uh make that happen so appreciate you guys watching along and let's get into it got that all back good to go gotta run a grease gun around it making a list of things we need like hey the light switch so that we have lights back grease because i got one cartridge left um stuff for the planner stuff for the shop oil and then we are going to go to town um hydraulic lines but i'm going to get the planner as far as i can figure out exactly what we need on some of it we have parts to pick up parts are on their way um marker arms have to go on and just wrap up the fertilizer side the fertile i got a bunch of fertilizer stuff that was ordered last week that should be here today or tomorrow um one thing we did realize that on this quick hitch and this is it just bothers me that it was done this way and it's easy enough we got a broken bolt right here and instead of them getting that broken bolt out they welded this end piece on and did all sorts of other stuff and yeah that's all smashed together in it so i'm gonna get that broken bolt out before we throw this quick hitch back on um the 46 and the quick hitch has to go back on or we put a bun bungee cable across it bungee cord across it to keep it um, from swaying back and forth and hitting the tires because right now it does do that with uh, the wow it does do that with the chisel plows on it and the chisel plows are going to come off so let's get this broken one out quick put a bolt in there and call it good okay got it drilled just heat it and then we got bolt extractor let's see if that wants to do it so it only goes, it's only about this long, broke off in there. Should be, uh, I don't know, let's see if you guys can hang on there and not get messed up. It should be uh, pretty easy to go. Gotta turn the gas on.
it wants to go. And I thought about trying to make it go the other way, but it's not, it's gonna fight me more that way anyways. Uh, I gotta grab a different one. This one's pretty well spent on its life. Heating it didn't help it. Oh. There we go. That's a victory for a Tuesday. Wow, those threads were junk. What did somebody do there? I guess we gotta refill this. It's getting a little low. Cotton oil. So I didn't want to throw these back together and have it still. I didn't realize before I took it off how it was laid out, but just doesn't look right. Probably would never get fixed otherwise. And we got to throw it on, so we might as well have it functioning properly and looking proper. And then at least we feel like we won one battle today. Yeah. Just clean these up. The little things right so what we're actually doing is using the bolt that is proper in there and this is what it's supposed to look like this is what somebody did they welded this end on because they just didn't want to get that broken bolt up but yeah we'll straighten that a little bit i'm going to cut off everything that they welded on the end here because that is not needed does that give us east outlet I labeled some of it. Yeah. Cleaner-ish. Our 20 minute little project here worked out pretty good. We're back. It's actually got a bolt That's got an insert piece on it. I think it's all one piece So then it sits inside of it Actually, it can't be two pieces or it can't be one piece because this one is actually the insert is a uh, Jammed in it So at some point we'll get the right insert. It's a little warm as you see the inserts jammed right in there but that's gonna be a win when I flip this over we will yeah we'll self tap or that or we'll tap that one too I did put everything away <laughs> but let's get the 4640 off of the chisel plows hopefully we are done with those chisel plows I told Colburn I'm gonna get him some spare parts he said Clinton told him that they were unavailable but Binkley and Hearst which is now Hagritier they merged they uh, were able to get me previously full assemblies of everything. So I gotta look back. I got part number somewhere, but like a spare cross beast. That actually worked out pretty well. So if you don't know, previously we uh, we broke one of these and this is the one we made up. Uh, it's a little bit smaller than it should be. Um, we also lost a bolt, lost that, and then lost the shank for about 45 minutes. And uh, glad we found it. Well, these worked out great very very good um not the perfect one that i'd i'd want because uh well this chisel plows is really what i want um that way it breaks up a little bit in front of it but yeah that's really weird so previously i was like the cigarette lighter doesn't work and the horn wasn't working now the horn's working 
And I was like, I wonder if the radio has an issue. The radio still doesn't work, which I think is normal. But the wipers all work now. So I don't know if I got a loose connection somewhere. Um, kind of, kind of odd. This one works too. It is windy as anything, which is good. It's gonna dry stuff back out, but it's also windy as anything. There's another pin. It's behind you guys. get this pulled outside so we can wrap our head around some things when we were down at Seth's getting the saddle tanks he actually gave me these handles and he said hey you can use these so what they actually do is you put them on your hydraulic um, remote control and so now if we got to work on the planter get out pick it up and down yeah, it lifts a little funky when there's not all of it, but you can do it from here instead of getting in and out of the uh, tractor. So he gave me four sets. I don't know what he had them on, but he doesn't run anything that's a 40 series, so they're no use to him. And he said, these will help you. So we got two others that we can hook on there, um, but I figured I was messing around having to lift this up. Climbing in and out doesn't work well. so. This tire on the outside is actually low, so we'll get that fixed up. But we're gonna move this outside um, and work on it outside opened up so we can put the marker arms on. This is not the first time we've actually worked on the planter so far this year. Um, there's a whole day that I did, and for some reason I deleted the footage and you guys didn't get to see any of it. So, what we did, um, planter got updated parallel arm kits. So new bushings in all of this, um, and we put liquid seed firmers on it. So we have more tubes coming. We got the manifold pump and everything else should be here. Um, people still ask about the names on on them. I got to have somebody retrace over them. Uh, this will be the third season going on, like Brock Farms. So Brian Brock, what, what did we get? Uh, we haven't seen you in two years, but he actually moved these discs to his place, loaded them. And, uh, well, we saw you at Rantoul, and we're going to see, see you at Renner. Um, the county's actually out there mowing roadsides, so appreciate all that. They're uh, great people. So, 
the names are from when we set this planter up, took it from a 36 inch row planter to a 30 inch row planter because of a mistake on auction time. Um, this planter was a straight frame planter at one point. Somebody put the fold wings on and it pivots in the middle. So this plants as if it's two four row planters um, side by side with some piv pivot. Um, we have marker arms to go on this that we picked up last year and never got around to it. I actually have new bolts for uh, springs that are missing. So we reshimmed everything, um, checked all of that. What else we, did we do? Put liquid uh, firmers on all of them. And then, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, like this one's missing the bolt, but we picked up a bunch of that. I do have, we were missing dust caps on three of them. So they're actually sitting uh, at the parts guy's house. He brought them and I just got to go grab them instead of going back. But parallel bushing uh, kits, that took quite some time. They were very sloppy and worn out. And uh, well, it's tough with one hand. Now we don't have all that slop. Before we had quite a bit of slop. So pardon that the lights still don't work. We haven't gone to town yet making a big list so this is what it consisted of all new bolts and bushings through everything and it worked out pretty well so we did that for one day and well once i delete the video it's gone or delete the clips it's gone so i don't i thought i put it out to you guys and i didn't but i'm gonna set it down we have i'll throw the springs that we have or bolts that we have on and let me grab those actually is there anything else in this bag? This manifold's going on. We got a piece of metal. We don't need that because we got that bolt. Did I get four? I might need more than four, but let me grab some washers and some nuts. We'll throw them on. Okay. So you get the jam knot. And then it's super long thread bolt so that it will go all the way down into the spring and then the, I would love to go to well whatever next planner we ever get we'll have some sort of downforce spring or hydro or I mean airbag or hydraulic I know a lot of people say airbags don't they're not adjustable but they're cheaper than hydraulic so and they still give you some ability well, non individually adjustable. What the? Oh, there's a bunch of paint. Hmm. That was really weird. It was like, uh, there's still paint inside of it. And I don't know how that worked out because it clearly had a bolt in it at one point. Oh, come on. Now we gotta. There we go. Okay. So there is more of a science of setting these, but kinda something's better than nothing in my mind. And then you got your jam knot. Which we got. Oh, come on, there we go. Okay. I thought I needed more, but I guess. We got spares now, so yeah, we needed three, and I got four, so we got one spare. But yeah, tap them out. Okay, I lied to us. We need all of them. Um, that's all messed up. Nice short one, wrong size, so on and so on. And then this one is cross-threaded in there, stuck and it, the threads are gonna be junk. So I did have a new one sitting on the shelf. So we'll go ahead, get those cleaned right out and then we're good. So we don't have any spares. 
let's go pull the marker arms out figure out how they mount once i know how they mount then we can go to town i got a big list of all sorts of stuff we honestly haven't gone to town in a long time so yeah some yetter marker arms should be easy enough to do get the forks on already pick it up and go so here they are they came off an eight row um we actually got to pull out the cylinder and everything that's inside of there that we're not ever going to ever use again. Throw it in the scrap pile. Um, one side leaks, one's a new hose. Um, cut the bars off so they're out of the way. That'll make doing this a little bit easier. But they're going to sit right on here. I'm trying to figure out exactly how they had them bolted down, but... I don't know if they cut some pieces off of here. Like, I don't know if there was a bolt hole in here that held it on or how they ran their stuff. That one doesn't have nearly as much sticking out. So maybe they put U-bolts around it. But <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll back up that corner over there and we'll get the plasma cutter and zing zing. Once we know how it's going to sit, we can do one side we can run to town get what we need do the other side part of running to town is so that we got a power on that switch again i'm kind of nervous if that switch so if you didn't watch previous videos come on go watch it make sure you like and subscribe to well, go check if you're subscribed for sure previously our switch started melting inside of itself so i'm hoping we don't have a bigger issue but right now the power is off to it One size is different than the other. No. It is raining again. What the hell? Now the sun's back up. It don't make no sense. So why are we switching marker arms? Well, the previous marker arms, we couldn't make any shorter without welding and cutting and doing all sorts of things um, because they were 36 inch rows, so they were too long. Um, this is going to leak out. Yeah, I'll catch it. And then... Those marker arms went straight up in the air, so when they were folded up, you were awfully tall. These are fold down on themselves. I'm hoping that makes storage of it a lot easier. Because uh, having a planter inside is a lot nicer. Um, than having it sit outside and fade and rot and everything go wrong on it. This is the new hose on this side.
plus these designs with the cables inside they're just they're not that great go okay now we're good to go won't need that fitting anyways If anybody has a use for that and they're local, you can have it. I know people do run, uh, still run those marker arms, but we're upgrading. There's a lot of junk in there. All right, I want to clean that up first. And then uh, we can pull this back out and we'll have to pick it up and set it on and figure out exactly how they line that up. And then we'll be good to do the other side afterwards. It is on there. Um, I'm gonna weld these bottom U, -bo U brackets because they bolt through there, uh, but that makes it sit up high enough that you can get everything through. So we're gonna <clears throat> mud gun that on there. We got enough room that that slides up and out if we need to. That's our lock for fold. So. It says no rain right now, but it is, it's raining pretty aggressively. Well, not as bad as last night or this morning, but okay. So we got this welded on and uh, it came with its own junction box because it's two, uh, two pieces because it doesn't use a spring and I'm getting wet. I'm going to stand back in here for a minute. Probably going to eat lunch quick and then hopefully the rain passes. Like why? Um, so I take it how this is set up. It goes one way, switches goes the other way. Um, similar to what a standard deer would be. This one got updated and had a junction box so you could pick which way it was going, but it used a spring for return so it only used one line. Um, but if you remember on the deer ones, they always lean out so they're like over here. Um, and if it's on a hillside, it leans against itself, but you put the little blocks in between. So this should fold up, should be really nice actually, um, to get into storage once we're done and uh, just all around really nice. So welded all I could on everything. Um, could take the bolts out if I wanted, which would mean taking some other things off, but should be pretty good with that weld and what pieces I could get on each one. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. So, alrighty, I'm gonna grab lunch quick. Hopefully this passes. And then, uh, or we'll go run and do our errands. So, no point in standing in the rain all day and wind and being miserable. But we got one on and I know how we're gonna do it. I thought we were gonna have to put a strap and hold it down, but I take it they either, I don't know how they had it mounted, to be honest. Unless they cut some things off. We do have to like hammer this one in a little bit. Wrapped up making my list of what we need to get. We needed two fittings. We got to put the grapple bucket on that finally because uh, we got to pick some rocks with it. That will make our life a lot easier. And I did find two of our fittings. They were actually on the blower table. Or on the uh, silo table. Amateur hour. But honestly I went in for lunch and I sat down for a second and I almost fell asleep so i was like i gotta get up let's run to town quick we got a big list of things to get and then when we get back we can finish up getting this together um there's some things that i need to finish up some of it like the caps so that i can put those on and there's uh things like hey my lights don't work because that switch still so we're gonna go do that forgot something yep Alrighty, these are gonna be pretty slick. I'm excited for them. There has been a lot of rumors here about uh, them paving the road. And hopefully that is true that they're gonna pave all the way up. They have marked a lot of the areas on my road that are extremely rough. But holy smokes, new asphalt. Mm. That will be cool. 
the road honestly it's got some beat up spots and it's raining again so we're headed into Cobblesco right now there we go oh yeah this is so much nicer I'm at an undisclosed location but as you see there's some John Deere parts appreciate it so parts guy lives closer to me left those out for me yeah I was hoping when we got back it wasn't gonna be raining heavy but <laughs> yeah oh what the hell I am so over this weather <laughs> oh I thought there was a package of dog bowl outside for Yanko's drink <sighs> yeah this is less than ideal um we got packages or parts and boxes and stuff to take out of the back but it just keeps raining i'm gonna pull the 75 out of the way spin this all the way around um we got hydraulic lines to put on we got a lot of things going on right now it's just uh rather inconvenient that it wasn't really supposed to rain all day and uh somebody just sent me that they've got like four tenths of an inch of rain so far today so and it's not stopping yet okay so as we can tell it's leaking right now because we just took the fitting off but this was all built up with junk and everything else um from it leaking internally so either the hose is bad has a small leak or the cylinder the piston itself which as you see this is how the assembly works so that is what controls your marker arms I do have a new cylinder or a new hose somewhere might be in the container in the box trailer still but yeah let's uh get that rest of that hose off and then slide that out then we'll cut it same as the other side and then uh we will be in a good place there we go it's gonna be the hose or the cylinder that's bad Ooh, I guess we can pull that all the way out. Oh, this is a different, like this is a newer one. See how it's yellow? Hmm, huh. somebody put a different cylinder on it. Wow. Let me put you guys somewhere here. You can watch. Can you guys see? You guys. Oh, there's acorns and everything else living in there. Um, or maybe that's an OG. It's got an old. Wow. It's got an old deer logo on it. Jumping forward. So if you don't know, see how that it's jumping forward. Well, when did they switch them? They started jumping backwards at some point. That's going forward. That's going forward. What do I have that's going? I don't own anything new enough to be going backwards. So at some point they switched them and they go backwards. Deers and there's pictures of all deers insignias or logos. I want to say this. Cylinder has a bad spot right here. But yeah, this is full of junk. So that's good. Alrighty, let me get this cleaned up, cut that off, and go from there. The one thing that I we really went to town to make sure that we had. Well, yeah. Light switch. So that we can not be in the dark tonight while we work on nothing here is magnetic. <sighs> Some days it's a struggle. You guys are gonna hang on there. Maybe. We're gonna shut all the power off, just so you know. That we're good. Okay, will it work? Hmm. Well, things do get old and wore out. So, hopefully we don't have too much. We shouldn't, we should be okay there. So let me put the cover back on. And uh, then we'll do that. Got it prepped for where uh, 
It needs to sit, hopefully, based off the other one's measurements. I'm gonna go pick that one up. Um, I'm sure people are worried that I'm welding on a frame of a planner. Relax. If you don't know, we've welded on pretty much everything on this planner to make it what it is now. Um, so let me, oh, that is going the right way. Pick that up, bring it around, set it on it. We gotta cut the bolts, they're a little long underneath. And uh, they stick out and hit on the frame. And once we're done with that, this thing is gonna get a new attachment and some lines run. We still gotta figure out why we don't have, all our lights don't work. I think we just popped a fuse, but that's on my list. Let me cut those first and clean up the welds. It is on. I gotta grind where we cut the excess off. I think these were mounted onto something and somebody just cut them off. Um, but this is gonna work pretty good, pretty well for what we're doing. Some paint on it. These lines here are nowhere near as good as the other side. So we're probably gonna have to have some lines made up. As you see, these, they got some battle scars, but they're not bad. This line here, yeah, it might blow apart the first time we cycle it. So that side's longer than this side. It's about all we got right here. So I'm gonna get them cleaned up, hook them up, see if this functions the way it should so we don't have any surprises on that. And then, uh, yeah, we can fold it up, see what it looks like. We got some mounting brackets. Fertilizer stuff should be on the way here. Should I would have figured it would be here today. So pump, controller, filter, and some fittings and some hose. So it'll be really cool if this just uh, does its thing. But I'm not that optimistic on a lot of stuff nowadays. So we're gonna find out though. Clean my feet off. So only one goes out. Maybe it needs pressure behind it or something. Probably should set the planter down. Gonna have to measure it, make sure it's adjusted right. cycle them a few times who knows really or maybe we got them backwards probably ask somebody but so we got pressure on it right now um there is you can adjust the sets there but i think maybe these have to be swapped so they're not similar so when you push forward it goes does the one and you pull back it does the other but i'm not really sure i don't like that there's pressure on this at all right now
So it's sitting up in the air. to somewhat alternate but probably should call Yetter tomorrow or somebody who's got the system and figure out how to adjust those relief valves because as you see that's progress we got marker arms we might have to mess around with some stuff to make them 100% but so much better so much tighter, be able to honestly be able to back underneath the low building now. So, alrighty. What's in the bag? The dust covers for the closing or the opener wheels. So we were missing quite a few. And uh, usually I got rubber ones, but I maybe the metal ones will stay in better. So we lost three of them. And so we couldn't wrap up the last bit of it. But now we can throw the gauge wheels on and be in a good spot. I did pinch one of, um, well, we talked about this all in the video that I never even put out because I deleted it. So I did pinch one, I think it's over here. Oh, we are, we're a little messy right now. I don't know where it went. Maybe it's still on my tray that we were working on. I did pinch, oh no, I brought it in the house. So, I got the seed firmer here. But I pinched the, or I cut into the fertilizer line when we were opening the box up originally. So, I got a new line coming with everything that's coming. And it should be here, like, ordered it last Wednesday. And uh, so, figured out what I needed finally. But I'll put these on, and then after that, we can, uh, that can go on after. Um, you just push it up in, and it locks in, as you see here. So, Keaton seed firmers um, with Inferro. I would love to go to 2x2. Two two. I just haven't figured out what I'd really like. And as I said, we're getting through, and we... Starter is going to help us in a lot of spots that get the seed going, but uh, eventually two by two, but probably not on this planter. So we went through and adjusted everything, made sure our, our part, proper distance of opener was correct. Did have to take shims out of quite a few of them. This is our third season um, with those blades on. Third? Yes. Going into our third? No, it's our third season. Um which will mean we have had, oh, let me think now. So we used to do 150, 160 acres. Um, oh, we can't talk about how many acres we did last year. It's a big secret. It just gets people worked up. That's why I don't say it any longer. So we've had three seasons. Yeah, a few acres last year and quite a few more this year, but. So, check and wear parts. Everything was good. It just needed to be a little tighter to make sure it was perfect. So, and then making sure all our gauge wheels were correct. We got to go through and make sure they're all set correct because we did plant deeper last year because we were looking for moisture and then moisture came really, really quickly and never left. But let me throw the other ones on and then we'll tighten them up. Okay, now we are good to go. We got everything on. Um, Honestly, we need to uh, wrap up fertilizer once the parts get here. Uh, so we got to build a bracket, and that's about it. Run some hoses. 
um, and planters ready to rock and roll. So we'll figure out the marker arm thing tomorrow, but they work, they move, they do their thing. We're you having a good day? I love the driveway goals right now. Well, I'm gonna pull this out of the way, get the 27 out of the way, and uh, tomorrow we will get further along with some some projects. So hopefully the parts show up for it. We got some stuff for this, and uh, yeah, day closer to plant. How much more rain did we get? I don't think I dumped the gauge out this morning today. I don't know. Well, we got the. We're looking good over here. I don't know if they showed that earlier. Oh, I did dump the gauge out. So we got another tenth to two tenths today. So that puts us at over an inch and a half. Well over an inch and a half. But we got peppers, pep, yellow peppers, yellow orange, what, golden California wonder peppers, green peppers, tomatoes, um, peas, green beans, lettuce, to be, lettuce, carrots, radishes, and then we'll figure out as we go what else we want in the garden, maybe time some things out so they're harvestable at, the same, at different times. But let me clean my mess up and uh, we'll call it a day. So appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.